art. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. All honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, who is worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace and salutation to you brothers that's out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right, um, I'm going to get right into it. Um, uh, 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 basically, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the virgin birth. You know how, how guys out here saying that uh, um, that uh, uh, our Lord and Savior, which uh, people are going to call Jesus Christ, which his real name is Yahweh Shai, calls uh, saying he was born of uh, Mary and an angel, or, or 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 the Father himself, saying the Father actually came down here and impregnated um, Mary, which that is completely against the scriptures. All right, on numerous occasions. All right. Um, First scripture I'm going to get is uh, going to be uh, John 3 and 6, all right, which is going to be St. John 3 and 6, all right. Uh, it says that, it's like, let me, I'm going to start from um, 5, it says, and you know, I'm going to start from 4, it says, Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born again, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb or be born? And Yahweh shall say, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water, of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. It says, That which is born of the flesh is flesh. See, it says, That which is born of the flesh is flesh. You know, uh, basically saying there's no type of a, a spirit can't come down here and impregnate something that's, that's, that's in the flesh, you know, and to have uh, another fleshly, you know, child, man. You know? It says, uh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Or it says, marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. All right, you must be born again, but basically he's talking about renewing of your mind. But that's a whole different subject. Um, but yeah, man, if you're born of the flesh, that means two entities, two flesh, fleshly uh, uh, bodies have to come together to make what? Another flesh, man. Saying uh, uh, something was born from the spirit is like saying, uh, um, uh, 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 um, how can you say, uh, Oh, a cat gets impregnated off of a dog, and, and then they're gonna have another cat. But because that dog wasn't, you know, uh, 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 because that dog wasn't a cat, it's gonna be out of the cat family, man. That's that's two separate, you know, uh, beings, entities colliding as one, which is, cannot happen. All right, because first, not only is a a, a spirit doesn't desire sex, or doesn't even, uh, or doesn't even, you know, uh, 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 like I said, desire it, doesn't even want it. There's no what possible way you could say that um, that uh, uh, the father Yahweh came down and impregnated Mary, man. All right. Um, next scripture I'm going to get. It's going to be in the same book. It's going to be John chapter. Uh, oh, and just to uh, you know, uh, yeah, I get that. This is St. John chapter 1, verse 1. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All right? So that's talking about Yahweh Shah. All right? It says, what well, the Word was with him, and it was him. All right? It says, it says, The same was in the beginning with Yahweh. It says, All things were made by him, and without and, and without him was not anything made that would, that, it says, that was, it's like that was made. All right? So basically, it's just showing you that, Everything was made by, you know, Yahweh Shai, all right? But it called him the Word, all right? So I'm going to look at this scripture right quick. All right. Oh, phone acting up. Okay, anyways. Uh... Okay, yeah, now I'm going to go to the 14th chapter. Where it says, it says what? It says, uh, what? How shall was the word, all right? Now, in the 14th chapter, it says, and the word was made flesh. All right, no, no, let me say it like this. Let me go to the 13th chapter, actually. I mean, sorry, 13th verse. And it says, which was born. Uh, uh, yeah, I start from 13. It says, which was born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of Yahweh. Now, what it says that man is saying he didn't. He didn't. Um. Basically, 
uh, uh, he had one uh, agenda basically. That was to what preach the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. He didn't come out down here to to party, to kick it, to do all this, to do all that. No, he came down to do the will of my father. That's what he told his mom, man. He said, "What? Don't you know about I'm about my father's business? Because that was what his job was, man. Yahweh Hashem had a specific job to, he carried out to do. So he didn't come down here to bullshit, man. And us like-minded, man, we have a specific job to do, man. So we can't come, so we can't bullshit while we're on here, man. We supposed to do this job to our best." And our fullest, man, like the brothers in uh, Chicago say directly and correctly, man. You know, this is a year of death, destruction, and diligence, man. You got to be diligent for, in order for death, de death and destruction to come, all right? And it says, and the word was made flesh. How was the word made flesh, man? Mary and Joseph got together and, and, and bumped uglies and boom, came out Yahweh Shai, man. That's how Yahweh Shai got, got here, man. Just like every normal other baby got here, all right? Um... Now I'm going to skip down to the uh, 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 45th chapter. 40, I'm sorry, I keep saying chapter. 45th verse, it says, Philip found uh, 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 Nathan, 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 and said unto him, We found him, one, one whom Moses and the law and, prophet, and prophets did write, Yahweh of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Now, how was he the son of Joseph, man? Because he came out of Joseph's loins, man. All right? It didn't say stepfather. It didn't say a stepson. It didn't say son-in-law. It didn't say none of that. It said the son, man. Just to show you that he came from who? Joseph Nutsack, man. All right? He came from Joseph, man. Okay? Uh, Next scripture I'm going to get. Okay, this is Hebrews, the, the seventh chapter, verse 14. It says, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of out of Judah. It says, Of the tribe, of the tribe, Moses spake nothing according to priesthood. Alright? So basically say he sprang up out of the tribe of Judah. Alright? How can uh, uh, uh now it's evident that you are whatever whatever your um uh, what's it called? You are whatever your father is. Now if Yahweh, if Yahweh was a, 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 a basically the father who created everything, you know, why was um uh, why was Yahweh Shah, and uh, uh why was Yahweh Shah come from the tribe of Judah? All right, because Yahweh made all the twelve tribes, man. So Yahweh doesn't specifically have his own um uh, how can he say a uh, 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 Pacific tribe? Yes, Yahweh Shah came out of the line of Judah because that's the leadership, because that's the leader. That's the leading um, uh, a tribe, but that he only got that he only came out of the tribe of Judah through Joseph because Joseph was a, a a Judite, all right. So if you are whatever your father is, how could how could Yahweh how can I'm sorry how could Yahweh Shai be coming from a line of Judah if Yahweh is 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 in a uh, uh, is in a um, is um uh, uh, is in a spiritual entity, all right. How is that even possible? Because the word generation comes from the word geno. All right? Matter of fact, let me get that. I don't want to butcher it because it's been a while since I looked that word. I'm going to look at the etymology. Okay, it says it comes from a uh, body of an uh, individual person. It says uh, about the same period, years, it says, descent at the same s stage in the line of descent. All right, um, generate corn, people, special, offspring, it says, um, directly generation. Uh, 
Oh, even the word gender comes from the word generation. Exactly. I'm, I'm going to look up that word gender because that, that gender is a good word. It says gender says to bring forth. All right. It says gender, gender, and gender. It says be, beget, gave birth to. All right. It says to engender, began, produce. All right. So, oh, that's a good one right there. Um, generate, person who beget, cause, or produce. Um. Back to the, uh, looks like the word generation comes from, comes from Latin, gen, genus, genus, that's what it comes from, genus, which basically means uh, the, the, the same set stage in the line of descent, uh, act of procreating, this is offspring or pregeny, special people. All right. Uh, 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 special. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it says race, people, or spe specials. All right. Begot, produce, of genus, race, or kind. All right. So basically, you no. Know, exactly, man. It says race or kind. So you're gonna get that through the generations. And who and who did they name? And what generations did they name? Um. What generations did they name at the beginning of Matthew's man? All through the men. All right. Through the men. Through the men. Through the men. All right. 14, it was what, 14, 14, and 14 and generations, man. All right? It was three 14 generations that they named through uh through the men to get to Yahweh, uh, to get to Yahweh Shah, all right? Just to show you, he sprang up out of the line of Judah through Joseph, all right? That word, uh, 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 gender, all right? To bring forth, you know, to give birth to, all right? That's how uh, you get your uh, 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 gender, you know, from two fleshly bodies, man. All right, but not to. Um, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go to the next, the next scripture is uh, Hebrews two and this is Hebrews chapter two verse sixteen, and it says, "For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham." All right, and it's word and the word uh, uh, seed comes from the Latin word sperma. You know, all right. Just to show you that sperm is what a seed, okay. And when let me ask you this: Do angels have sperm? No, they do not. They most definitely do not. Who has sperm? Fleshly bodies, fleshly males, slacky. Fleshly male bodies have sperm. All right. Let me say that again. It says he. It says for verily he took not on him the nature of angels. It says what? But he took on him. The seed of Abraham. All right, so my Yahweh Shah. Okay, he not he did not take on him the nature of angels, which are what celestial bodies. All right, they don't desire sex. They don't desire sleep, food. They don't desire none of that. All right, Yahweh Shah. He 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 had he had uh, 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 he had to sleep. He had to eat. You know, he had to do the, the things that these fleshly bodies do, man. All right. Uh, let me get one more scripture and then end it off at that. Get this six and forty-two. Hopefully, this is what I want. Yep, and exactly what I want. This is John. This is John chapter six, verse forty-two. It says, "And and they said, it's it says it's not his, it it it's like it says, and they said, is not this Yahweh the son of Joseph?" Who father and mother who knew how is it then that he that he said I came down from heaven, all right. So basically, it said the point was right uh, right there. It says the son of Joseph, whose father and mother, man. So just show you that uh, 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 Yahweh Shah was Joseph's son. You know, Joseph was Yahweh Shah's father, okay, and Mary was his mother, all right. Simple, plain, cut to the point, man. If you can't understand that, man, like the brother Kaya just said in his video a couple hours ago, man. Hey, it is if if our gospel be hid, is is heeded to them that are lost, man. All right, you're not going to get it, man. If you're not part of the elect, you're not as going. You're not going to understand that, okay? All right, and, and with that, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to you brothers that's out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely. All right, with that, shalom.